Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone's having a phenomenal day today. And today I'm excited because we're doing another Is It? Is It Really? If you're unfamiliar with this segment, basically I take value sets and I actually do a price breakdown of all the items in there so you can see if value sets are actually their true value that they're posting on those little stickers. Um, also, to all of my subscribers that are used to watching these videos, I am so sorry. I am shoving these down your throat. I'm not sorry, I love these videos. Um, but yes, let's get started on the one we're talking about today. So I'm trying to get these up really fast because I'm trying to get up the sets that came out of the fall preview sale, hopefully before they launch. Some of them aren't happening, it's gonna be okay. Um, and then some of these I already have from JC Penny Sephora, and those ones, you have no idea how quickly they're gonna sell out because they don't sell them online, they only sell them inside stores, so you literally have to like go to your store to see if they have it call first. Don't just go. Um, so the one we're going to talk about today is from JCPenney Sephora. So this is the Sephora Favorite Skin Care Starters. It's a five-piece item set. Again, you can only get it right at JCPenney Sephora. Also, just in case you guys are curious, if you get something from JCPenney Sephora that's a JCPenney Sephora exclusive thing like these kits, you can't return it to your regular Sephora and vice versa because they're not in their systems. So, fun facts. Keep that in mind when you give gifts and stuff because they need to know which ones you got them from. So the set is $30 and they gave it a value of $70, but is it is it really? Um, let's go over the items in here so you can see if it's actually worth it. Um, so again, there's five items. The first item in here is from Bosha, which I have tried. I want to say I might have posted on Instagram about him. I had a really bad reaction to him. He was not, my skin did not enjoy him at all. I think it was nothing to do with the actual mask. Well, no, it was the mask itself. My skin didn't have a good reaction to the ingredient side of it. So, it's from Bosha, and it's their Illuminizing Black Mask. If you've ever seen people doing those black mask faces, face masks that you peel off and, like, hurts their face, this is what that's supposed to be. It's supposed to, like, help pull out, like, all the gross blackheads out of your pores and stuff, really help to cleanse your face. It did that. It wasn't painful to me. My skin was just very irritated and looked almost not sunburned. If you've ever accidentally like touched something really hot and you got burned from that, like if you've ever pulled a pan out of the oven and accidentally nicked yourself on or the top of the oven, I do that all the time. Um, that type of burn is what my entire face looked like. It was not a cute, it was not a cute time. Um, I think it was just too harsh on my face for what I've been using for that week, so I'm hoping to try them again one day. Um, but the ounces in here is a one ounce. He's worth $12.14. I'm not saying this to scare you guys, by the way. It's a great mask. It just, my, I have baby sensitive skin. Take everything with a grain of salt. Um, the next thing in here, which is a great deal, because reminder, it is $30 for this kit. So in here is from, it's Fiero. Fiero? Fiero Roche? No. <laughs> no, it's not a Fiero. Free arrow. Wicked. Um, no. So this is the Luna Play and the shade Midnight. Not that the color means anything, except that it's a pretty color. Um, in this case, it's darkness, like black. Um, so this is their T-Sonic Facial Cleansing Device with up to 100 uses. Fun times. Um, so basically, it's their little itty-bitty, if you've ever seen the Lunas, they're supposed to be like rechargeable with the exception of their Play versions. Um, and those, they just have uses. You turn it on, you rub it over your face. It's great. I love it because I actually have two of them. Oh wait, I have one right here. This isn't in Midnight. This is in, I think this is the mint one. I'm 99% positive this is mint. Yeah, it is. Um, but this is what the little thingies look like. I have this one out because my hot pink one's probably gonna die, so I have this one relatively on hand. So basically you just hit the little on button and you put your face cleanse on your face and just massage this over your face. It helps to lift out all the dirt and grossness and helps to stimulate your face, help you with circulation and keeping you just looking young and beautiful. I love them. Um, I really think they were great on helping like get makeup off of my face. I love that about them. So they're really nice. Um, but obviously it's a one count that's in the set because they're not going to be multiples of them. That'd be weird. Um, and it is worth $39. So honestly, if you were just looking to try the little play, like this is a set to get because you automatically save 9 bucks on the play. And you get all this other stuff. Um, the next thing in here is from Murad, which is their oil control mattifier with SPF 15. I have no idea what that means. I think it's supposed to be a moisturizer. That's why I think they call this a whole skincare starter set, because it's supposed to leave, like, all the things for the face. Um, 
So yes, so this has SPF 15 in it. It's a .33 ounce. It's worth $7.76. So super fun there. I'm normally not the biggest fan of Mira just because I don't have really excess oily skin. Um, I get a little bit oilier in the summertime, but it's not craziness. And so Mira just typically, it really dries my skin. It's not a fun time. Um, but still, that's really fun to try. And the next thing in here is from Ulla Henriksen. Also, I think my sister's going to post pictures over here. She normally does. My sister's looking at me like, how many times do you have to go over this? I always post pictures. I'm sorry. Um, but yes, from Ulla Henriksen, this is their Sheer Transformation. It is a .25 ounce. It's worth $5.67. This is most definitely a moisturizer. So it looks like they give you like a sunscreen and like a moisturizer and like face washes and stuff. So like the whole complete package here. Um, but I have tried this one. It's really nice. Not too crazy heavy. Um... But yes, $5.67 for him. And then the last thing in here is from Peter Thomas Roth, which I love, love this brand. They have amazing face masks, and I just tried a peel from them that I'm obsessed with. Um, but this is their anti-aging cleansing gel. It's a one ounce, and it's worth $4.47. And one of my subscribers, I can't, oh gosh, I had someone comment about it, and I cannot remember your name. I'm so sorry, but someone made a comment because I was like, I don't typically use anti-aging because, like, I'm really young. But she's like, it's never too early to use anti-aging because it's true. It's very true. You can never be too, well, now there is a too young. Don't be letting your 10-year-old use anti-aging stuff. It's going to mess up their face. Um, but yes, he's worth $4.47. So, a review. Um, the set was $30 and they gave it a value of $70. His actual retail value is $69.04. So, you know what? I just give it to them. When they're that close, like, it's $70. I get it. You're rounding. Because who wants? It's like, it's a $30 set. We're $69. Like, no. Like, $70 just sounds better. Um, so, I get that. But his total savings is 57%, which is really, really good, especially on skincare. I always say it with these Sephora sets, they're anywhere between about 55 to about 65% savings. Sometimes they're less, sometimes they're more. It all depends on what's inside the kit. But honestly, I think this is a fabulous kit. I would actually get this one if it wasn't for the fact that I already own the mask and the Peter Thomas Roth gel and the Ulla Henriksen and I already own play. It's a really good set, but unfortunately, like, I don't want to continue getting more of the little Luna plays because I want to get an actual, I want the mini. I don't want the big one. I like the shape and how I can hold the mini. I'm weird. How I decided on which iPhone I was getting was I held the two different ones, this different series in my hand, and I ended up getting an, it's the SE, right? Right? That's what I got. Because my sister has the six when we were getting our new phones. Um, but I held the SE in my hand, I was like, this one feels more comfortable than this one because my hand the way it grips it. I'm a weirdo. Um, but yes, I do think this is a very good set. I highly recommend getting this. This is amazing. It also will make, if people, I know some people like, I know it's like summertime, but people shop for Christmas and stuff already now. This would make a great gift for anyone for any time of the year because it's fabulous. Um, but yes, that is it. This is a really short video. It's because I don't have the products I'm not physically touching and sniffing and stuff. Um, but I want to get these guys out as soon as possible for you guys. I really enjoy doing these. I'm so sorry if I talk too fast to them. I'm not sorry. It's how I talk. Um, that's it for this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to get notifications on when the videos actually go up, make sure you hit the little notification button. And if you want to follow me on my social media, there's going to be a link in the description below to all of my different social media outlets. Also in the description, there is a link to the giveaway that I'm doing with the Lorac palette. It's got their Kerber mascara and one of their eyeliners in it. So make sure you follow the link so you can see the swatches of the palette because that's super duper fun. That's it for this video, guys. Stay foxy.